ls stands for list of the files ls displays all the files and directories that are present in the current working directory in the current working directory we have the files anaconda case dot cfg documents ex1 so etc are the files and directories we have uh, options with the ls command the basic ls command without any options it displays the files and directories in ascending order based on the alphabets to display them in the descending order in the reverse order we can use the option r r stands for reverse small r stands for reverse so it displays the files and directories in the reverse order of the alphabet and we have one more um, option called a which is used to view the hidden files also all the hidden files in the previous command when use ls without any options it just displays all the files that are present in the directory excluding the hidden files and when we use the a option it displays a stands for all it displays all the files including the hidden files displays all the files that's what the a option indicates and the other option is d if we use d it displays the current working directory name and if we use n as the option with ls command then it displays a list of options a list of options with the user ids and the group ids so here 790907 it's a group id so this column displays the group ids to which the user belongs to so before discussing this command it is better to know about the l option ls minus l where l stands for long listing ls minus l stands for long listing it displays the long list of options that is one row for each file so consider the first row it displays a long details of a file dot cfg uh if we go into the details the first character indicates the type of the file that is whether it is a regular file or the directory or it is a any other special type of file uh, for example here this file dot cfg file is a regular file so the first character is a underscore or the hyphen and uh, if we consider the desktop so this is a directory here as it is a directory the first character is d indicating that it is a directory coming to the other characters the next nine characters re are related to the file permissions the file permissions related to read write execute of the user the group and others so if you consider this example the user is having read write permissions alone and the others are not having any permissions coming to the next uh, details a uh, one here one indicates the link how many links the file is having so if you consider desktop desktop is having five links and the next one is the username the next column indicates the username of that file and the next column indicates the uh, it is the group name the group to which the user is belonging to and the next one is the size of the file in bytes and the next one is the last modified date of that file followed by the file name all these details are displayed if we use the option as minus l and we have the other options also now uh, consider this option n so in the previous option the user and group names are displayed and now it displays the user id and the group id so as the id is zero it is displaying zero and the next option is 
time. T indicates the time. That is, it displays the files based on the last modified date. It doesn't display the file based on the ascending or descending order. It displays the files based on the last modified time. And the next important property is the option is the capital R. So already we discussed small r which stands for recursive uh, sorry which stands for reverse and now this capital R indicates recursive it displays the recursive listing of files uh, if, if we simply execute the command ls it displays only the files and directories and if we execute this ls minus r it displays all the files and the directories along with the files in those directories uh, look at this one here so within the desktop these are the files that are available it shows all the details that are available in the directories also so that's how it displays the minus R option capital R option and uh, another option is L. It displays the values in a single column. So a, a, the basic LS displays the values in rows and this LS with minus 1 displays the files in a single column. And LS with the option I displays the files and directories along with the inode numbers. That is about the LS command.